Hey, this is Vicki Johnson, and I'm here with LadiesBehindTheBeat.tv. Um, I'm a bass player, and I've been here in Los Angeles for quite some time, doing my thing, um, playing bass with different people, uh, different artists. I play primarily funk and rock-oriented music. Um, I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been playing for a little over 20 years, collectively. Um, I took a break and did some singer-songwriter stuff, took a hiatus, but primarily bass is my thing. Uh, you were a background singer on the Grammy-nominated uh, song with Foreplay, right? I am friends with um, actually both brothers, Nathan and Marcel East. I had the, the blessing of being in the studio one day when Nathan was working on this song called The Journey. And they said, Vic, you want to put a little background love on it? And I said, sure. Fast forward, I think a few years ago, I get this phone call. And the funny thing about it is I had just pulled out the, the CD to work on the vocals. And the next night, I get this call from Nathan East, and he's like, Vicky, Nate. I'm like, Nate, hi. He said, guess what we're doing? I said, what? He said, we're doing the journey. And I walked in, and there was Bob James, Larry Carlton, Harvey Mason, Nathan East, and me. And I was like, one of these things does not belong here. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so the vocal booth was hot, lit up, ready to go, and I just jumped in and sang, and I think I sang it so fast. I, I, did my, I was just so ready to sing. I was so nervous. They were like, uh, can you do it any faster? And they were joking, but I knocked it out in like a couple of minutes. That was done. And then um, I got the call maybe a couple of months after that. And Nathan said, hey, we're going to the Grammys and the song has been nominated. And I was like, whoa. He's like, yeah, and you're on it. I was like, okay. So that was really special. I love this bass because it was custom made just for me, for my hands, um, my expression. I mean, it's got a lot of flowers on it, a lot of, a lot of love went into this, this instrument. It totally represents who I am. Um, it's beautiful, but it's strong. It's unique, and there's not another one like it. Like me. <laughs> so, when I play bass, I feel like I can do anything. I feel liberated, empowered. This is like a sword. It's like my, I don't know, I slay people with, with my bass. <laughs> I focus on the bass player because the bass player could play percussion and groove like the drummer and melody like the guitar player and mix it together and held down the group. I mean, just held it down. So it was like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to like, I want to, I want to dig in. You know, I want to, I want to do that. And you know, I grew up in a family where. You know, the girls did everything. I mean, they were, we were never told we couldn't do anything, we couldn't be anything. I mean, my grandmother tell me stories about she and her cousin Cab Calloway and how they would get on stage and dance and, and she was shy and she didn't, you know, she didn't want to do it, but she just couldn't help herself and so she would just let go and do her thing. And I was like, okay, Grandma, you know, I can do that. I can, I can, I can play music. Playing the bass has taken me to places I, I only imagined, I only imagined, meaning outside of my neighborhood, outside of um, limitations, um, economic limitations, outside of, you know, people saying, oh, you know, how are you going to do that? How are you going to leave Baltimore and, and go to California? You don't have anybody there. Aren't you scared? Aren't you nervous? Aren't you? How are you gonna do that? And I said, I don't know, but I 
gotta go, I gotta try, I gotta give it a shot. Uh, I did a little bit of work with Maestro himself, Prince. Uh, that was unbelievable. Um, I actually went on tour um, a couple of, uh, a year ago with an artist, uh, a Tunisian artist, who sings Rai music, R-A-I. And his name is MC Rai. And uh, great energy, great message bearer this guy is. We traveled with the U.S. Embassy over in Morocco and played many cities in Morocco and uh, it was an outdoor summer festival and their intention was to bring Western music to Morocco and bring, you know, Northern African um, culture, our culture, to introduce the music to that culture. And I asked, you know, a couple of representatives from the embassy, I said, is it okay? to really play hard, you know, should I be more demure? And they said, no, 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 do, just do what you do. And I got out there and I played and I looked out into the audience and I saw these women in burkas, like holding up the rock and roll sign and nodding their heads. And I was like, oh, this is something else. And that, I mean, that moved me to see that. That showed me the power of power of and potential of what I do and what I'm and the family that I'm a part of as a musician and as a woman I mean I have to take it there because we do hold a place on this planet with the gift that we have you know so you've been on this incredible journey yourself yes, uh, I have. and uh, you have uh, demonstrated your commitment to music where do you see yourself in the next few years I want to do I want to do it all I want to get on the space shuttle and play the bass. That's what I want to do. I'm going to get on the space shuttle and I'm going to the moon and y'all just going to see a bunch of dust. And that's just going to be me. I'm just going to be a little bad. And that's going to be me. That's, that's cool. That's good enough. I'll be on the moon. I'll take it.